Hey guys, this is Pastor Bell with just a quick word, and today I want to encourage you to get a hobby. Find something that you enjoy doing that, that's just for you, not something you're looking to make money at, not a side hustle, uh, not something that you're building on for your career, but just a hobby, something that helps to relax you, helps to calm your mind, uh, helps something that maybe engages your mind or body in a different way than your job does or your everyday life does. Find that hobby and enjoy it and never feel guilty for doing it. This is something I think our elders can can model for us. I know lots of people who are, let's say, over 50 um, that have hobbies, that have something they enjoy doing. Um, they have models or they have stamped collections or coin collections or, you know, they like to have little trinkets at home or they play golf or tennis or something like that. And from the outside, it can look really goofy. I mean, let's be honest, the stamp collection kind of looks ridiculous. But to that person, it's life-giving, and that's that's good. And it's okay if it looks weird to everyone else. A hobby isn't for everyone else. It's for you. It can help to ease your mind. It can help you get off that single-track mind of work and your career and your education and whatever that may be. It can help engage different parts of your personality, of your body, uh, and I think that's good for us. It's good for us emotionally and psychologically and physically uh, and spiritually as well to help us see the wide range of gifts we have that we might never get paid for or aren't our expertise, but just something we enjoy doing. For, so for example, I play guitar. Am I good at it? Not particularly. Uh, I can bang out a few chords, but it's really just something that helps relax me, and I've gotten pretty rusty at it. I should probably get back to that. Um, I know other folks who, you know, build uh, model airplanes in their spare time or build model trains, and that may seem old-fashioned, but to them, it is something that helps to clear their heads, uh, helps them to uh, come down after a very stressful day, helps them to find some peace of mind, and helps make them a, you know, a better spouse, a better parent, a better child, um, a better friend, and, and even better at their job. And I think that's the other thing, too. We need things that help us decompress because that helps with creativity, uh, that helps with thinking outside the box, it helps to uh, disengage parts of our minds or let them engage kind of in the background and often that's when we can have that aha about a problem or an, oh yeah uh, a connection that we weren't making before. So get a hobby, get a hobby, enjoy it. Um, you know, make sure it's something you can afford and something that's doable, not something that's going to take up your whole day, but find that time to do something that's fun and relaxing for you. It's going to be better for you. It's going to be better for the people around you. And it's all part of that Sabbath that God calls us to have, that rest and joy from the everyday drudgery of, of work and whatever else. I hope you're having a wonderful week. I hope you're staying safe. God bless you, and we will see you next time. Bye now.